So now, here's the thing. We know, Daniel Radcliffe, you have a reputation for being lovely to fans, you very sweet, you give your time very freely to them. But I read with interest that you are starting to toughen up now. You're being a little more discerning with your fans. Um... <laughs> Daniel? What do, you what, what do you mean? Well, <laughs> wasn't there... Like, you were being generally nice, but you were the friend, and she kind of went, you know oh, that... Oh, yes, right, yeah. well, yeah. Well, cos I... Yeah. I think when, when you, like, start acting at a young age, people expect you to be a, a total dick all the time, and that's the kind of the expectation that you sort of always find yourself coming up against. Yeah. And, and so I think all my life I've, like, been really, like, worked hard to not be that and to be, like, as, as far away from that as possible, but that has sort of sometimes meant that, like, someone... You can be really rude to me, <laughs> kind of, and I'll just be like, yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be like, I won't really, like, notice that you've been rude. And uh, sometimes, like, people will come up... And, mo like, 99% of the time, when people come up to you and ask you for something on the street, they are really very nice. And then just occasionally, like, someone will come up and I, I said... Somebody said... Can I get a picture with you? And I, I just, you know, just saying words, not meaning anything by it. I just said, yeah, yeah, of course, if you want to. And she just went, well, I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to. <laughs> and I was like, and of course I was like, oh, no, of course you wouldn't have. Silly of me. Come up here. And, um, and, and then, like, she left and my girlfriend was with me. She was like, that girl was a dick to you. <laughs> like, you don't need to, like, you need... So she's given me, like, a little bit of sense of, uh... Like, you can judge that. Not that I'm, like, a dick back now or anything. No. But I just don't... You but know. you don't need to be that. But, yeah. but apparently, Rupert Grint's even worse than you. Rupert... I don't know the details of this at all, but Rupert ended up at somebody's house one night. <laughs> just from, like, continuing to I say know. yes to things. <laughs> and, uh, and, and you want to do that? And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, We've yeah, all yeah, been sure. there. Like, <laughs> Again, I feel bad saying this because I feel like someone's going to take advantage of that and just, like, ask him to, you know, he's going to be, like, the new Manchurian candidate or something. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes people come up to you and they don't mean to be rude, but they yeah. can be quite rude, can't they? Oh, Josh? yeah. I had, um, I had at the premiere of... Was it Suffragette? My wife's just been in a film. And, uh, and I thought, if anybody calls out my name, I'll go and sign autographs. And as it happened, a few people signed did, and I did that. And so this woman was screaming, screaming, screaming. She was, James, 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 say my thing, say my thing, say my thing. And, uh, and I came over and she went, oh, thank you. I'm a really big fan of some of your work. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, thank you. I'll sign some of your posters. <laughs> um, but that was kind of, that was a weird... And people are trying to be nice, they're trying to be... You know, I think sometimes as well there's a thing that people do where they like... And, I, and it is very particular, to, particularly like young men with me want to do a thing where they want me to know that they don't give a shit about me <laughs> like before they start asking for something. So they'll be like, didn't really like the Harry Potter movies, but can you sign this? <laughs> and I was like, D like, don't do that. Just say, some, say a nice thing. <laughs> it's so easy. I had one. I had one happen really recently at a fancy dress party where, um, uh, and this is weird, right? Uh, do you know that thing where uh, some people make a list of oh, people, famous people that they're allowed to have sex with if they meet them? Oh, the free pass. The free, the free pass. pass, right? Yeah. She called it an allowance. Um, <laughs> uh, and I was like, what, like pocket money? Yeah. Uh, how are you going to spend me? Um, uh, and so uh, I met her and her fella, and, and then she came up and said, uh, after she went, so you're my allowance. And I was like, I beg him, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, she went, you, you know, he's cool with it and you're my thing. And I was like, uh... He's, <laughs> like, he's not cool with it, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, that's a whole other story. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and, uh, and I was really sort of, like, taken aback by it. And, and I was like, I'm married, and but thank you very much. It's very, very nice of you. And, and then she said this thing that was, like, it was meant as a compliment. And she was trying to get me to do stuff, but it was still really backhanded. And she went, because, you know, a lot of girls would be after somebody like Channing Tatum. Oh. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do you know what? You're not getting it. <laughs> I know that. Achievable That's goals. <laughs>